Hello, in this video, I will show you how to import LinkedIn contacts to HubSpot. Uh, we got two different ways. One is importing LinkedIn connection uh, for free as a CSV, then you import into a spot. And the second is using HubLead to import LinkedIn contact in just one click while you're browsing on LinkedIn or Sales Navigator. So how to export your LinkedIn connection? You go to me, then setting and privacy. You go to data privacy, get a copy of your data. Here you will say, okay, I want to download large data archive. Want something in particular? Remark that you can export a lot of things, but you can click here on connection and request archive. So now you should have received your uh, CSV of LinkedIn connection inside your email. Once you download it, you can go to CRM contacts go to import to import the contacts and companies inside your LinkedIn connection, start an import, import file, file from computer, sorry, click on next, one file because you have only one file. You want to select multiple objects because when you want to import that CSV, you want to create contacts and companies. So you select that, click on next, you have companies and contacts to create, next. You, you choose, sorry, the LinkedIn connection CSV. You click on next. So now you have to map the feed. For first name, last name on the contact, that's good. On the contact, you have to select LinkedIn profile URL. Either you create a LinkedIn profile URL or you, if you install uh, uh, Hublid, sorry, uh, within your HubSpot, we will automatically create this LinkedIn profile URL. Uh, this is really helpful for us because it will improve the chances to match LinkedIn profile with your HubSpot contacts. We also use first name and last name and company, company domain. But of course, LinkedIn profile are way better. For the company, you will need company properties and select company uh, name. Of course, this is better to have the company domain name, but in this extract, I don't have any. Uh, I will say don't import that colon and click on next. You agree, you can uh, re uh, change the name if you want and finish the report. And now it will create contacts and company associated with the right uh, first name, last name, job title, and so on. So if I go to contacts and I select someone, for example, you have the LinkedIn profile URL. If you don't, don't find it, you can click on action, customize properties, and search for LinkedIn profile URL. And here I can open and have it, uh, the, pro the contact directly in LinkedIn. You can click on refresh, you can find an email if you want, and it will import directly into your HubSpot and refresh the database. Up, and I can go back to HubSpot. You see, you have the email, refreshing, and all the information inside HubSpot. With a bleed, whenever you go to someone you don't know, you don't have in your HubSpot, you can just simply create the contact or link contact. So for example, I can search for any Maxim inside my database create the contact and it will import the contact with all information inside and of course trying to match with the right company to have the same contacts in the same company so if i go back to the company over there you see you have the two contacts in the same company we created from the import and you can click on refresh you can relink and of course start to uh, check if you can have more emails and phone numbers you can also display any uh, in, uh, property you want. So for example, you can display the list status and change it over there. Okay, now I hope you learned a lot from this uh, tuto on how to import LinkedIn contacts to HubSpot thanks to HubLead or with the free uh, CSV export. If you have any question, you can comment inside the YouTube channel or you can send me a message on the live chat or LinkedIn and I would be really pleased to answer to your question.